What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is an exciting, exciting day. You know why? Because we get to ride this thing for the very first time. What is up guys? Welcome back to another video about this Chinese electric sport bike right behind me. Today we're trying to get this thing running and driving. It's basically finished, All everything is installed. It's just a little bit of wiring that I have to figure out. Today, hopefully I have this thing on the road and today, and hopefully this video is a first ride video. <laughs> but we'll see, I don't wanna get crazy yet. But So that's what we're doing guys, let's just get to it. Well, somebody told me that my phase wires were actually mixed up. What we did basically was match yellow to yellow from the Votol controller, the old one, and so we basically just thought it was gonna be the same one. They're labeled U, V, and W. The yellow one was uh, W on the Votol EM100 controller, so we matched it directly exactly like that. But I think the Kelly controller, what everybody's telling me is the Kelly controller is actually different. So the yellow, on this one goes to U instead of W like on the Votol. So I did a temporary extension because this one was too short. Um, we basically extended the wires as necessary to get them matched up like the Votol was. But if that's the wrong combination, I can't use it anyway. So I did a temporary extension. I'm gonna make sure it all works and when I find the right combination and then we'll do everything permanently. My only problem is, I think I'm way over analyzing this, that everything's actually wired in pretty well, but I think I just need to run the freaking identification angle test. Apparently that's what you gotta do right off the bat. The user manual basically says you can't use the motor until you run the identification angle test. So I, I don't know why I didn't do this earlier. I probably just should. So let's do it. Here's the interface again. The identification angle is right here. It says 85, which is normal according to what the manual said. So what I'm gonna do to initiate the angle identification sequence is basically type, I'm just gonna type 170 where it says 85 right there at the identification angle box. So I'm gonna type 170 and then they tell you push right and then it will confirm that successfully written and then you turn off the bike, turn off the power, let it sit for a couple seconds, turn it all back on and then apparently, allegedly, this back tire should start spinning slowly and then it starts doing a little sequence to you know, learn its wiring. All right, I'm really nervous but I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna hit right. I put 170 in the box. It's in Chinese. Okay, it wrote correctly. I pulled up the program again, it still says 170. So, I'm gonna turn off the breaker. I think that should do it. I think I saw the motor move. Oh, bruh, it's moving. I'm ready to shut it off though, if, if I need to. <laughs> That's the first time I've seen the motor move. Check that out, boys. One, two, three, one, two. Three and two, internal reset. May be caused to some transient fault condition like a temporary overcurrent, momentary high or low battery voltage. This can happen during normal operation. I think it said it should do that actually. Oh, perfect. Hey, it says if the identification angle operation is finished, the beeper will beep a two, three error code and you will see reset error message in the monitor screen of user program. You'll see the error message in monitor screen of Blah, 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 please turn off the power supply again. Please wait a few seconds and turn on the power supply one more time. Sorry, bike. This could mean something good. <laughs> this could mean something good. I saw the motor move. <laughs> and it gave us the right fault code. I got it, I got it, I got it. Check this out, I'm gonna set you down real quick. Okay, so currently I need to change the direction. Um, I went back to basics. I took the forward, the reverse. The <laughs> 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 no, 
no idea what just happened. So in the program, I'm going to make it, I'm going to click the change direction box, and it should then spin forward. Okay, so I just pushed the change direction box. It says right success. So while it's resetting, I'll just show you guys. I went back to basics. I took out a lot of the pins. From what the guy told me on Facebook, thank you so much, by the way. He basically said this, this is the brake wire right here. And that's the only one that you need to connect on this side, apparently. And then just the throttle, uh, the throttle wires. So that's what I did. I just went back to basics because I had everything plugged in and it was actually reading correctly for like a, a switcher, like the speed switcher thing. And these are the wires that does that. So I had those connected, but no throttle response to those. So I took those out and it actually works. It only has one speed now, but it, that kind of just functions like a normal motorcycle now. As much as I like reverse, I mean, I don't need it. There it is. There it is. Very cool. I mean, really, it works, you know? It, it works. I mean, technically, that's all I needed to do. <laughs> so these are the phase wires. This is the yellow, blue, and green. We just didn't have green heat shrink at the time. So you can see here, the yellow is going to U, the blue is going to V, and then the green is going to W. Well, it's almost time to get this thing on the first ride. I never thought for the last couple months that I'd be saying that, ever. <laughs> Here we are, here we are. This is an exciting day. So the last things I have to do is permanently install this wiring here. I did change some of the phase wires around and some of them weren't long enough and some of them are too long as you guys can see here. And I also do need to straighten out the wheel. It's kind of rubbing on the brake just a bit. That's pretty much it. Alright boys, well it's back together, um, so I'm going to give it a fresh wash, it is dusty and dirty, so I'm going to wash it all down. The motor, I will say, is making a weird clunking sound. I'm hoping it's not like an internal issue with the engine, but we're about to figure that out. I'm going to get this on the road regardless, because if it's a bad engine, it's going to take months to get a new one. So that's the game plan, let's get this thing washed and get this thing on the road. Done. I say I just gear up and give it a full send. It's 50, 60, 70. All right, here we go. Oh gosh, that's freaking fast. Oh my gosh. I was not expecting it to pull that hard. Holy frick! Holy frick! Wow! Let's try this again. It wasn't going all that quick and then I like gave it a little bit more throttle. There was a little lag and whoosh! Holy frick! Wow! Wow! <laughs> That's insane, dude! Now I'm gonna listen. I don't hear any bad sounds. The motor might actually be okay. That's crazy, bro. Wow. And it vibrates a little bit right at the very bottom end. I don't know what that's about. Oh yeah, the full throttle sends it, dude. Wow. Yeah, full throttle sends it, dude. All right, I'm gonna turn around. I'm just gonna grip it and rip it. That's way faster. Wow. 
And you guys notice the non-squeaking brakes? How about that? Guys, I am impressed. I'm not hearing any bad sounds. I don't know, maybe it just had, with no load, maybe the tire was just imbalanced or something. But I don't hear anything now. This is almost like actual sport bike status. Holy frick! Wow! That actually pulls you. Wow! I am very impressed. Wow! And I'm not sure what it is. I'm not sure what it is, but when you let off the throttle, it actually pulls you, it just pushes even harder. It's just for a split second and then you start, maybe it's regen braking kicking in maybe, I don't know. Now I'm not gonna go too crazy on it just yet. This is a test. You know, this is just the first ride. I, I need to make sure all the bugs are worked out. I am so stoked right now, I'm so happy. Months, literal months of hard work. It's actually paying off right now. I'm probably at 50, 60, 70 even right now. Wow. I'm not even going to try to get that. <laughs> this thing picks up. Frick. <laughs> I'm so stoked, guys. Wow. I just reached for the rear foot brake. That was funny of me. Now I know it has more juice. I know it has more juice. I didn't tweak anything. I didn't change anything in the settings, but the Kelly controller manual says that the factory settings typically aren't the best performance. I am amazed. Oh, my, my turn signal's on still, man. Oh, I literally can't believe this. I am freaking stoked. You see this empty parking lot? I'm just gonna grip it and rip it. Here we go. You guys ready for this? I'm ready for this. All right, here we go. Yeah, it, it jolts you right at the right at the top of the throttle there. Right when you let off the throttle, does it decelerate? It pulls you a little quicker, and then it starts decelerating. I don't know what it is, but oh. I cannot believe all of this hard work is paying off in this moment. It literally in this moment. All the months of hard work just paid off. Wow. I need to serve I need to make sure the brakes can handle this now. Wow. I am so excited. Frick, man. Wow. That's insane. And it's quiet, it's silent. Oh my gosh. And the range on this should be like 150 miles. It says we got up to 54. For the tiny little straightaways that we were on though, that is not bad. All right guys, well that's gonna be a wrap for this video. I am so excited. That was a lot of fun. It is actually fast now. It's, it's basically on a sport bike level, but it's completely silent. It's crazy. Anyway, next video, we're gonna be getting the top speed in at some point. That might be next, I'm not sure. But anyway, Lord Kurt also got a temperature sensor for the battery. A lot of you guys have been suggesting get a temperature sensor for the battery, and we did. Lord Kurt picked that up, and we're gonna install that here pretty soon. But for now, I'm super impressed with the bike. It is so much fun. I cannot wait to share with you guys all the parts, all like the cost breakdown, everything. So if you guys wanna do this yourself, you literally can. I thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to hit up my Instagram account if you do want more up to date, like sneak peeks before videos. Also check out my second channel if you guys want more content. It's kind of like real estate and just kind of a day in the life. Go ahead and just subscribe to that. I'd love to have you guys. But that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next video.